Hello and Happy New Year to you and yours. I hope that as we turn the calendar on 2020 that you have a renewed sense of hope that comes with it, that we are moving beyond the challenges of 2020 and that you have dreams for this upcoming year. Our preaching text for this week is again from the first chapter of John. It seems that our lectionary writers just can't get enough of telling us about John the Baptist and his preparing the way of the, of the Christ. But this week we hear just a little bit more from this text. It reads, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, This was he of whom I said, who, He who comes after me ranks ahead of me because he was before me. From his fullness we have received grace upon grace. The law indeed was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. It is God, the only Son, who is close to the Father's heart, who has made him known. This incarnational text tells us again that Jesus Christ is God's promise, not a concept or an idea, and Jesus is not the messenger of God's promise. He literally is the promise. And why is that important? Well, we have a problem in that we believe that we have control of our own destiny. We do not like having a Lord over our lives because the Lord dictates how you live your life. What are the guidelines that you may exist in or live in? And we still believe that we can be autonomous or separate from God. The creature, created by God, believing that they are God. But what Christ came to do was to be God's promise, showing you his grace and his mercy, which is his posture towards you. Christ is the promise, which is his mercy. To tell you again that you are forgiven and that you are a child of God forever and you are an heir to his benefits. So no matter what is going on in the world, this is the good news for you today. The creator came into his creation so that you would not only know this, but that you, the creature, would get to see and hear him in his son. Now that is a promise to cling to. Join us for worship this weekend. We are back to in-person worship on Saturday evening at 5 p.m. in the main sanctuary and on Sunday morning at 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. You may also join us via live stream on our YouTube channel or on KSFY at 11 a.m. Come gather with us in whatever way you can to hear God's promise and his attitude towards you, which is his mercy. I'll see you in church.